What is satire? This form of comedy comment on everyday relationships. Are we there yet? We get there when we get there. Well, in my name, Dad had to kiss a llama. Yeah, like that would ever happen. It could. Nuh uh. Yeah, ha. Uh. Yeah, ha. Nuh uh. Yeah, ha. 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 Uh. Yeah, ha.
We should not be taking masks from a person dressed like a rat. I am a rat. No one corrects the teacher. <laughs> oh, it will keep us warm. It will protect us. From the coronavirus. How much is it? I really need it. It's one million dollars. <laughs> Out of the way, maggots. I've been saving up my bus money for years. I just have to have them. Yes, buy it over here. Where? I don't see it. Of course, in the sewer. You're supposed to buy a rat mask in the sewer. <laughs> Welcome back, and now our next guest, who also happens to be an influencer, Riley! Now, are you ready to be mind blown? Yes! Can we get on with it? Alright, so you are about to hear how high numbers really get. By the end of this interview, you are going to be so blown away at how high a Google is that you are going to rethink... Enough with the atmosphere! We have a time limit, you know. Let's get on with it. Okay, okay. Now, first of all, we need to discuss how drastically big numbers get from a million to a billion to a trillion to a quadrillion They get to... bigger and bigger and bigger. Let's move on. Oh, they don't just get bigger. They get drastically bigger. Think about this. One million seconds ago was two weeks ago. Not surprised. Okay, one billion seconds ago was 1989. Not mind blown yet? Well, guess what? One trillion seconds ago was, drum roll please. <laughs> 32,000 BC. Oh, dang. I know, right? Fascinating. I can't believe. You still have not <laughs> mentioned how high a Google is. Isn't that what you're going to do in the first place? Yes, be patient. I am just leading up to it. Now that you know how drastic a change from a billion to a trillion is, can you imagine how much bigger a quadrillion is from a trillion? How about a quadrillion to a quintillion? And so on. Okay. Now, imagine that going all the way to a Google. A one with a hundred zeros after it. Can you imagine how big that number is? Possibly. Let me visualize with time and space. Think about an atom, which are the tiny particles that make up the mass in space. Now, think about the number of atoms in the entire universe. Science suggests that there are roughly 10 to the 80th power of atoms in our entire universe. 10 to the 80th power is too big of a number for us to even begin to imagine. But what if I told you that 10 to the power of 80 is only a roughly 0 Two thousand years later. Zero 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 one percent of a Google. Okay, two minutes left of the interview. Let me visualize that with time. If the number of atoms that take up the entire universe is still nowhere near a Google, can you imagine how long it would take to even count to a Google? I don't really care that much. Imagine you were born in the very beginning of time and you had an infinite amount of time to live. Now, imagine ever since the universe began, you started counting all the way until this very second in 2020. How long do you think it would take before you finally reach a Google second? Beginning of time, wouldn't you have 
already reached to Google already? Nope, not even close. It is estimated that from the very beginning of time, in order for time to reach a Google seconds, the universe's lifespan, which is 150 billion years, would have to be billions upon trillions of years longer in order for the timer to reach a Google Seconds. Mind blown? You know what? I would say that the most mind blowing thing about any of this is that you went out of your way to explain something that doesn't even matter. Who cares? About how high a number is. Who cares about how many atoms there are in the universe? Who cares about how long it takes you to count to Google? Who cares? Who cares at all how high Google is for Christ's sake? Gee, that's the 80th time in a row I got that response. <laughs> wanted to wear your mask but also wanted to drink your drink i know a very relatable problem well then we have just the product for you so karen uh it's Karen. k-a-r-e whatever let's start why did you buy the slurp mask for thousands well because i was thirsty, but I still need to wear a mask and I was not allowed to take it off. Mom, is this interview over? How much did it cost? Can you remind me? Only a monthly payment plan of $12,000! <gasps> what? What kind of? Mom, can we leave now? 
why don't you tell these lovely viewers where you can get this product? To buy this lovely, fairly priced product, call... Mom! Enough with this dumb job promoting fake crap! Okay, I guess I will be going now. Thank you so much, lovely viewers, for watching this paid ad placement. <laughs> Mom, you did it wrong. Redo it. Wait, you already left? Dean pristine conditions were like sign trick or treat petitions. We're always on Zoom. Our sanity is about to go boom. At home, super bored, stuck with nothing but a game board. My notebooks are Google Docs. Got school around the clock. Stuck at home. to the Influencing Influencer Show, where we interview influencing influencers. Our next guest is Winter, age 11, an expert in 3D printers. Thank you. My name is Winter, and I am a specialist in 3D printing. I know everything there is to know about them. I know how they were. I know how they were invented. I even know how to work them. It all started when I was a wee child. <laughs> I was two years old and my dad put two types of plastic in front of me, ABS, ABS filament and polyethylene terraplated. I picked ABS, ABS filament and that's when it all began. What exactly is ABS, ABS filament? ABS, ABS filament is the plastic used to 3D print. Ooh. By the age of three, I had memorized every color you can use to 3D print. I knew every brand of printer. I knew every term for printing. I was awarded for my knowledge with 3D printing. My favorite place in the world was Chuck Hull, the inventor of 3D printing's grave. I think that when I'm closer to him, I absorb his power. Wow, that's dandy. Now we have a 3D printer here. Do you mind showing us some of your talent? Of course I wouldn't mind. But do you have the plastic color num number? Um, 
Hex A C seven eight F A because if not, I'm afraid it just can't be done. Oh, we do actually. You do? Oh, well, that's terrific. But I can only print on the first Tuesday of the first Tuesday of each month. Well, that's convenient. It's the first Thursday of this month. It is? Well, isn't that nice? Oh, would you look at the time? It looks like this interview is over. Actually, your schedule is clear until tomorrow, ma'am. Truman! I'm sorry, he's uh, always doing that. Uh, did you know that Wombat's Poop Cubes? No, I'm I'm not kidding. Please subscribe to my channel and leave printed. I have to go. Bye. Uh, okay, that was unexpected. I guess I'll see you next time on the Influencing Influencer Show! I have my wires all up in a peppermint twist. These darn kids today, all they want are electronics. <laughs> Minty, electronics are your specialty. Um, yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> oh, my head is so big, my body is so small. These LOL dolls are making me... Oh! I'm up, I'm up. Wait, did the big guy see that? Were you sleeping on the job? I was micro-napping. <laughs> You can't blame her. We've been working overtime this year thanks to the lockdown. Oh, you poor dear shenanigans. Santa should be finishing up in Japan just about. They'll be home soon. Miss Claus, us elves are up to our pointy ears in toy making every year, and Santa just lays around eating cookies. Which he steals, by the way. Oh, I heard he takes the milk, too. Minty and Clyde, he needs to keep his energy up. You've seen what he looks like when he gets back to the North Pole. Speak of the Kringle. Look who's coming now. Over here, dear. Ho, ho, ho. Santa's ready for the Winter Olympics. Let's do this. Oh, Santa, you look slimmer. There must have been more nice children on the list this year. Yup, all this young tide worked up an appetite. Check out all the cookies I collected. Aha, proof! You've stolen your last ginger snack. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on? What's this all about? You see, I personally think you do an amazing job. You see all the hard work you put into Christmas every year and- Don't listen to Enid. She's sucking up to you so you don't put on the naughty list next year. That's not true. I also want to be head elf. You see, Santa, we elves think you take advantage of the whole, all the hard work we do for you. Well, you get all the credit for handing out the gifts we make. Uh-huh. That's why we unionized. Unionized? Unionized. Now we operate under Local 25 Coal. Coalition of Angry Elves. Clyde, Elves starts with an E. Who made you the Secretary of Marketing and Communications? This is why membership elections are important, people. Okay, Elves, calm down, calm down. I think I know what's going on. I work so hard one night a year that this belly swims faster than a polar bear on keto. I must admit, I have been a little selfish, saving all the milk and cookies for myself. I just wanted to fit into my Santa suit every year to not disappoint all the good boys and girls. Now I see that hoarding these treats around makes you feel unappreciated. Yeah. I think it's time for a change. Maybe it's time to start sharing the gift of cookies with all my hard-working elves. Yeah! Oh, Santa. Don't worry, Santa. I can help you hand out the crumbs. Clyde, please don't use such hard language. I'll have to wash your mouth out with eggnog. Look, they're just crumbs. Oh, dear. Must have been crushed from this year's gifts. I'm going to knock until next year until things get any worse. Maybe I'll be a little slimmer next year. Maybe I won't fit into my traditional red suit. But you know what? 
Things can't get worse than 2020. Here's to a new year. Merry Christmas. <laughs> So there are three sections of the sketch and they heighten. What is common? Before you know it, you will be writing your very own songs. One of my favorite examples of satire is in the movie Zootopia. These are our writers. Hi, I'm Joe Kanosian, I do the music. I'm uh, Kellen Blair, I write the lyrics. Because I know those books like the back of my hand. I'm at the carpet exchange and I die. I want my kids to roll me up in one of these carpets throw me in the harbor.